there. Today I'm showing you how I made the covers, the tags and one of the pages for my recent Monkey Business ring binder junk journal. You can see here I've got a couple of pages of A3 white paper just to protect the bench top. I've got a largish piece of book, uh, book cloth in black and two pieces of recycled cardboard that is going to form the base of my cover. Here I'm just applying rather generously um, Helma PVA glue which is my favourite good quality PVA. Um, it's one that's recommended by libraries and for book repairs and book covers and I really like the the uh, permanency of the of the glue. Having done one, give it a good hard roll down with my little brayer and get on to the second piece. I'm just, I haven't cut the cloth at this stage, it's easy to put them together in as, as one. The piece was just large enough for me to be able to tuck the edges under. Just putting that away and getting the PVA everywhere. Pushing it down, giving it a good roll, turning it over and giving it a roll from the other side, making sure of course that the hands and the brayer are all clean. Um, you don't want to get any adhesive on the top of the, or on the right side of the cover. Cutting those apart as near to the centre as I can and then going around and just folding in all the edges. This gives you a line to follow for trimming out. Here I'm mitering up the corners because that gives you a cutting line. I tend to make that one a little crooked but the rest I just cut on the straight. And if you fold them up at right angles to the corner you get a very clear line of where to trim your, your cover fabric. Whatever it is you're using, even paper is good done this way. Just leaving um, about an eighth of an inch or a little less on each of the corners. Doing the same thing to the second piece and now you can see I've started to fold in the edges. Still using the PVA glue and trying to be careful not to get it on the visible parts of the cover. Making sure I get it well into the edges of the cardboard, into the fold and into those corners. It's important that they're well adhered. I'm just giving them a little push in with my thumbnail. This helps with the neatness and mitering of the corners. I just spread that adhesive out, try not to be um, too generous so that it oozes out everywhere, but just enough to make sure that uh, you get a really good adhesion and that's where the brayer comes in. Now you do have to wipe it if you get any adhesive on it. Um, it does give that better pressure. Now I've got a couple of sheets. I think this was about the only new thing I used in this this little junk journal. Two sheets of red cardstock and I just like to eyeball those. I lay them on the piece and just mark where I want to cut them and grab the cutter pillar. I can do both pieces together with that. It's, it's a good sturdy cutter. Trimming those out and making sure they don't need any further adjustment before I adhere them down. I'm putting those on with the Helmar craft glue. They don't need the PVA although you could use it. Just giving that a good coating, nice and thin, across the whole of the piece of cardstock. And laying it on, making sure that those edges are nice and straight. And again, braying it down to get maximum adhesion. Having done both of those, I've now got my Tim Holtz centering ruler. It's the easiest way I find. It's 
an indispensable tool this one for marking the centre of both pieces and I've taken one of my pages here that's already been centred and punched with a normal uh, hole punch so I've got the marks where I need to punch out with my cropper dial for the rings on both the front and the back of those covers. Clearing out the little holes on the cropper dial, make sure that you can see through to where your pencil marks are. Because I didn't have any grommets uh, large enough to do the job because that cardboard was a little thick. I pulled out some flat metal washers and chose four the same size and here I'm just pulling out four of the smaller ones to go on the inside. For this I used the Helma 450 Quick Dry Adhesive and added those washers to the two holes on the front and the back on the front of those and on the inside I adhered the little, the smaller washers. Here I've got a piece of cereal box and a couple of strips of cardstock just out of my scrap bin. I'm applying adhesive to the back of one of those pieces of coloured cardstock and then adhering it down onto the straight edge of that piece of cereal box and giving it a good roll. This is a brilliant way to use up scraps that you've cut from larger pieces of paper. Finding the straight edge and then repeating the process, giving it a good dose of that Helmar craft glue I haven't found a paper yet that doesn't respond well to the Helmar. It's an excellent adhesive, general purpose adhesive. Now, that goes under the Webster for about an hour or so till it dries and is set firm. And again, with the Caterpillar, I can trim it out very easily and beautifully straight. So all edges are beautifully trimmed. Here again I've got the Tim Holtz ruler and a pencil and I'm just marking them an inch from the top corner on the side and on the top on both sides. Then popping it back under the caterpillar to give it the tag top. And that's basically how I did all the tags for this journal. Just using scraps. You don't need to use the piece of a cereal box if you don't want to, but I like the sturdiness that it gives. Centered, found the center point with that and then punched out a hole with the cropper dial. Here I've just got a gold metallic pen and I'm going around and just going over that white edge. I don't always do this, but um, I quite like the finished look it gives. Now I've got the pages for the little journal. The pages that were pulled out of the recipe book. I'm going to make that little chalky one into a pocket page. So just marking how long I want the tag to be, or the space for the tag to be and then scoring across the page to give me a line where I can fold that up, trim it out and make it into a pocket. Just cutting along that centre line and the excess off the back, you don't need to leave both pieces there, you only need one fold up edge to adhere it down. Just 
trimming that out, making sure it's neat. There's the remains of the blue file folder that needed using up. Scoring that down the centre and then folding it in half and working out where I want it to sit. I don't want to push it right across and lose too much of that tricky picture. A bit of adhesive on the bottom of the pocket fold and adhere that shut. Just putting a, a thin bead of glue down the inside of the pocket to hold it together while I put the little folded piece on. And I'm marking inside the, one of those layers just a half inch and that's just a little visual tick mark that helps me to line up that pocket piece without any fuss. If you're using score tape for this it's easy, you just use the width that's going to suit you and use the line of the tape to indicate where you lay the pocket. Just lining that up, adding a little bit of extra glue so that it's all the areas are covered that need to be covered. And folding it shut and there you are Bob's your uncle it's done. All I need to do now is to trim those little top pieces off. There they are trimmed off and pop the tag inside. There it is. Now I just need to mark the center point on that side blue piece and that's just a visual tick mark so that I can see inside my little hole punch uh, there's a little arrow to mark the centre. I just line that up with the little tick mark I made. Here I'm put a trip, found my little scrappy ribbon pieces and found a red and, and yellow piece to use, just scraps. I do put these through the hole and tie them in a bit of a, a knot. However, I change this later and all of the ribbons that I use in the album in the journal are now attached using the tiny attacher just to get rid of all those bulky knots and pieces that tend to build up. Just trimming those ends out. Adding it into the pocket. And now just popping it into the little journal. No, don't want it there. Put it in there. Those rings undo very easily and clip together very satisfactorily. Rubbing out that little tick mark. And we're done. There we go. Hope that was helpful. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.